to go from the 11 plus tutors. Today I want to talk to you about something we've been doing recently in class, but just touching on an introduction to this stuff, which is area, perimeter, volume, and surface area. Now, in some shape or form, one of these will usually come up in, in an 11 plus entrance exam, so it's worth knowing all of these. Area is, in terms of a, a rectangle or square, very, very easy for kids to understand. It's height times width. But when they write their answers, that's in centimetres, it would have to be squared. And I would say to kids, that's because you're multiplying two things. So you've got to put a pair of things squared. It could be metres squared, centimetres squared, and so on. For a triangle, it's a bit different. I would say to kids, the formula for this cannot be the same as this. It must be less. That helps them categorise it instantly. It's half the bottom times the height. Equally, half the height times the bottom works. But it's different to just a square or rectangle. Half the bottom times the height, same thing, area squared. Now, what you can get in exam is what we call composite shape, which is something like this. But all we do, and kids understand this pretty quickly, is we draw an imaginary cut line or chalk line we work out this area and this area and just add them together. Pretty straightforward. Sometimes it can get a bit more tricky where you can have uh, something cut out here. So you'd have to subtract the smaller area if there was some kind of cutter, cookie cutter type situation or something you had to exclude. Not too difficult though. For perimeter, it's just add up all the size. It's area distance around the edges. I remember it as perimeter fence goes around the edges. The thing that kids do though, this is why I say about perimeter fence, they confuse these and that's dangerous in the exam to get this and this confused. This is just a distance. You're just adding up all the sides and it's just centimetres or metres or whatever. There's no squared or cube. It's just a straight distance. And often when they get to the triangle, they've had this drunk into them so much they get to this and they start doing half the base times height. It's just add them up. That's all it is, the triangle. Now we come to volume, which is actually really easy. It's just the surface, the area times the depth. So it's height times width times depth. Now because you're multiplying three things, it has three dimensions. It's a three-dimensional shape. It's cubed to the power of three. With these, we're just looking at an introduction here. What you can have in something like this is, then they'll say, well, how many of this could you fit inside this? And then it could be a question of dividing one volume into another volume. We'll maybe touch on that in a future video where we can take these things a step further. But that can come up. Here's another thing that I have seen several times in 11 plus weird exam, is surface area. Again, not to be confused with volume. If it is surface but surface area, we're not multiplying, we're not multiplying height, width, and depth. What we're actually doing is working out the area of each side and then adding them together. And that will be squared because it's just area, surface area, it will not be cubed. So these are very easy concepts, but I think it's worth maybe having a cheat sheet or a card made up showing these things um, for a kid to learn off by heart so they definitely don't confuse these in the exam situation because that would be terrible because um, they're quite easy things to understand. I hope you've enjoyed this very quick video. Look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Goodbye.